Alright everybody, welcome back to some more Mother 3. We actually did uh, two bosses in the last episode. And today we get story. Story time. Story time with a facade. I'm scared. <laughs> you pathetic fools. There's nowhere to run now. <laughs> You've been a real thorn in our side, you know that? Good. What's funniest of all is that happiness could have been yours had you simply stayed in Tasmania and lived quietly without a care in the world. Alright, it's all set then? I'll be done here soon, so leave the mother port ship on standby above. Thunder Tower is no longer usable, but this is the perfect chance to eliminate the whole lot of you in one fell swoop. It's a bit much for three lousy rats, but our king just loves being flashy. So, I've decided that you and Thunder Tower can disappear flashily together. Eh. Hey. Ooh. Oh, that can't be good. Well, looks like my ride is here. Later days, pals. Okay, all set. Destroy Thunder Tower. Well, Lucas, we haven't known each other very long, but it's been fun. I'll never forget about you guys. <laughs> oh, the heck is... Ha! <laughs> wow. Um... Hey, I guess that, that works for us. I do kind of like how his own banana kind of was his demise. Kind of a nice uh, roundabout way for it to happen. Let's grab onto it. Rope Snake, you're up. Yo, Rope Snake. Good to see you again, man. Is that. Huh. Gah. They're trying to shake us off. Lucas, Kamatora, Boney, hold on tight now. Duster, it's me, the Wolf Snake. I know I've been, this isn't the best time to chat, but I have some good news for me, and bad news for you. Good news for me is that although we haven't known each other very long, I'm now a major character in the story, thanks to you. I also was gonna try to talk, like, something was in his mouth. That felt horribly, so. Here's the bad news. I'm not doing that anymore. And my jaw isn't sorry enough to support the weight of three people and one dog. In other words, my jaw is at its limit. This is literally jaw dropping. Ah. If it weren't so depressing, it'd be kind of funny. Actually, it is funny. Fuck it. Ah. Nope. There we go. That's the game. We all died. The end. Moving puppets made from clumps of earth. The tower that can fire thunderbolts on demand. An extensive highway system. Ships that fly through the sky. The enemy that Lucas and his companions must stand up against has grown to such an enormous scale. Do they even stand a chance against this vile and powerful nemesis? No. Common sense must be ignored in a situation like this. Even if there is only a one in a billion chance of victory, that means there is also a one in a billion opportunity of turning the tables completely. Will Lucas, Kumatora, and Duster be separated once again? Or will they work together again to overcome the obstacles that stand in their way? From the flying ship, a masked man looks down upon Lucas and friends, his profile still very youthful. The tale now moves to its next chapter with an almost certain promise of battles far more intense than ever before. Oh, great. Because I'm kind of having some trouble as it is. Well, I wouldn't say trouble. I'm, I've been doing okay lately, but... Well, grind sessions are going to be a thing pretty soon. I can see that happening. And Kumatora and, uh, what's his name? Duster. They're both pretty close. 
to uh, Boney and Lucas now in terms of levels? Um, yeah, sure, why not? Chapter 5 and... Oh! I guess that makes sense. Chapter 6, Sunflower Fields. It's a pretty nice looking sky, to be honest. Hmm. Well, those are definitely uh, fields of uh, sunflowers and whatnot. Where are we, though? I mean, from a fall like that, I'm surprised we're alive. Well, not much to really do but to uh, look around. Can't seem to run, which I guess makes sense. Hmm. After all, this is probably something extremely special, so I'm gonna assume that they won't allow us to to run. Even though it would be kind of nice. This does look quite nice though. Hmm. <laughs> no problem here. What do you see, Lucas? Hey, Boney! You're alive! What's wrong, buddy? What do you see? Hinawa? Wait, Hinawa, where are you going? She go. She's leading us somewhere. Pony. Where is she leading us to? I think Hanawa was leading us right to that very spot. It's certainly possible. My last chapter seven. Hmm. 
As I recall, chapter 8 is the last chapter. Chapter 7 is a long one. But until then, we are really asleep. And he doesn't seem to be hurt. That's good. Where's Kumatora and Duster? Oh, you're finally awake! Don't worry, Bony's in tip-top shape, too. <sighs> it's good at least. In a dream I had, Hinawa told me to pile hay in that spot right away. Hmm. She saved your lives. It's strange. Hinawa appeared in Alex's dream and told him to pile hay at that one spot. Then, in a real world, Right out of the blue, you too far, right into the pile. It's as strange as strange can be. Well, dreams have always been uh, a peculiar thing. Say, was Duster with you? No. Lucas, it seems you've met one of my magic sea friends. This might not look like it, but they're trustworthy. They may be able to help you out. Think so? Well, I guess the only thing we really do is uh, talk to one of them, I guess. Being cooped up inside this building all day is so boring. I can't help but yawn yawn. You youngins have it so nice. Yeah, I suppose that's true. I'm sure he's fine. We'll see. What's that? Pony, always running off. Oh man, what a what a most interesting episode it's been so far. Oh, you guys, what's the problem? You look like you're trying to screw up our formation or something. I don't mean to be. Hmm, is there uh, anything specific? Nope. Alright. Figures. Guess we just had to look for Boney. Aha! <laughs> Ooh, I enjoyed the gag of my own. I just moved my mouth up and down like so and slowly slipped it off. Oh, I'm wonderful. I hate to be a bother, but could you stand me up? Why are you in that contraption, anyway? Thank you, darling. Don't know what happened. My own business, taking off a makeup. Suddenly I was physically assaulted. Oh, what an unfabulous time to be attacked. Oh my. You're that boy I met at the hospital the other day, aren't you? Seems the threads of fate have led us to each other again. From the moment I realized you could use PSI, I knew there was something between us. You're undoubtedly the one who we mad gypsies have been waiting for, for tens of thousands of years, right? Can you sense it too? Can't you feel the time is drawing near? It's okay if you can't, I'm not entirely sure about it either. <laughs> Wait a second, if I was attacked, could it mean... I hope Aeolia is alright. I wish I could fly there, but I can't without my makeup on. All I can do is walk on land like a human, how tragic. Oh well, I'll walk if I have to. And you, you're coming with me. Come on, let's go to Aeolia's house. Okay? Uh, well, that's marvelous. Makes magic happen together. I mean that in a nice way. What? Okay. We could reach Aeolia's house easily by going straight up this river, but... Hold on, guys. I have no idea what you're talking about just now. Is up the river you need to go? Then it's our time to shine. Come on, follow us. Okay. So, are they like our own? Okay, that's what I expected. Oh, hello. Ah, a boat. No problem here. We just got this. The greatest boat ever. You'll get on it, of course. I'm not sure. Don't really have much of a choice now, do we? Ah, I 
I see. And that'll lead us right up to where we need to go. Yeah, because they were talking about the, uh, the needles. And we actually saw one of those needles right above here, huh? Way back in, I believe, chapter 3. There's our present I missed. Unless I've never been here before. Yeah, they are doing like rowing animations, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, it looks like we could do some battles here. Moo! I'm in the mood for looking. Ah, sure. Hey, we got some fresh milk. You're good at it. <laughs> well, I'm sure Lucas has had some practice already. What the hell are you? Yes. It's awkward. Like, really awkward. But, okay. <laughs> you know this place looks extremely familiar? As in, like, I feel like we're gonna meet somebody here. Like, somebody we've seen, but haven't seen in a while, actually. I don't know. Okay. Oh, what happened? Why aren't you wearing any makeup, Ionia? This is no time to be silly, Aeolia. I was attacked. To rush here to see if you're alright. I'm just fine. Just lovely as I always am. Never mind me. How do you untie the rope already? Oh, I was in such a rush I never even noticed. What a shock. Lucas, could you untie me now? Unbelievable. You have no sense of courtesy. Yeah, I, I got courtesy. Okay. Ah, uh, who's that fine figure? Why, that's me without makeup. I'm sexy even without makeup on. Hee <laughs> hee. Hee. Yeah, okay. I'll agree with you. Um, <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Aeolia, one of the magic seas. Fate has brought you here. Yes, I can feel it. Oh, I'm so happy. Just one second. There, hold on. I'm pretty again. Look the same, but... Eh. I digress. Yuck. You can keep that lipstick. Indirect kisses with other girls aren't my thing. Oh, I have a bad feeling. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. on what oh my Aeolia your body your body your body is starting to disappear oh my oh my oh my so it is it's disappearing I'm disappearing but I'm well does this mean... I need to know Sohei Castle that I protected for so long. Someone has pulled it. Someone able to pull the needles has finally appeared. The dark dragon sealed away by the seven needles will awaken. You can get to the courtyard in so Sohei Castle through this underground path. The needle really has been pulled and will vanish very soon. 
but it would be wise to know who pulled it. Someone with a dark heart, or someone with a light heart? The answer to that may change the fate of the world completely. Oh, so today is the day I disappear. Ionia, what's her name? And Doggy. Bye bye. Bye B. Eolia. You're an open hearted person. That's why we get along so well. Okay, let's follow this underground path to Sohei Castle's courtyard. We got Aeolia's Memento. Hmm. Eraser and lipstick. Interesting. I have a feeling that'll be coming handy in a little bit later. But until that time, we will be ending it for today. Um well we had a lot of uh interesting story progression happening and we'll definitely see what more is going to be going on and who knows we'll see what happens later on tomorrow for you guys so until then i hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day